Hey everybody, welcome back. So today I'm going to do a review of the Fly Low Baker bib. And as many of you probably already know, I'm a really big bib fan. I like to ski in bibs and I have a history with bibs. So if you want to check out my review of the Arcteryx Alpha bib, I'll put it in one of these corners up there and you can click on that and take a look at it because that's kind of where my adventure this year began. But let's get into this review. This is the Baker bib and I'm going to put it on. I'm going to go through all the features, the material, and at the very end of the video, I'm going to talk about am I going to keep this bib or am I going to send it back like I did with the previous bibs that I've tried on. So before I get into the details of the bib and try it on for you, let's get into the origin story of this bib. The Baker bib, Baker meaning Mount Baker, kind of interesting, was designed for ski patrol on Mount Baker. So that kind of gives you insights into what kind of bib this is all about, right? So you'll notice that this bib is, a lot of people say burly. I don't know if I would say that. I think that it's very functional and I'm going to get into those details. It's, I'm going to be honest, I like it. I like it a lot. Is it a fancy looking bib with colors and patterns and all that stuff? Nope, it's not. It is a very functional bib and it has a lot of great features. So let's get into that. So let me try it on first so that you can kind of see what it looks like as I'm speaking about the bib. So I'm gonna do that so you can kind of see the whole process of putting it on because in my previous videos, just putting on the bib was an exercise and, and not a good one. So let me show you that. It's right here, I'm gonna grab it. So here it is. First thing that I notice when I pick it up is that the, uh, the weight, and the material are interesting, right? Like the, the weight is, feels a little bit heavier than the Alpha, uh, Arteryx Alpha bib, uh, for sure, right? There's a little more material here as well. The material is very kind of soft and very comfortable feeling. They talk about this being very durable and, and, and other reviews say burly. I'm not, sorry, I don't wanna keep using that word, but, but I, don't, I don't think it is. I think in some ways, I don't say, I don't wanna say delicate because that would, that would insinuate that this could be damaged e easily, which I don't think it could. But like, look how flexible it is. It's not stiff. So classic bib, two straps at the top. Uh, I've undone one leg. I'm just gonna step in as I normally would. Very loose fitting so that my leg goes in there pretty easy. Other leg goes in and, and this is the way I put on bibs. Not everybody's gonna put on bibs the same way, right? But, and, and this may be, not the best way to do it, but this is how I do it. So, see, pretty easy to get on. And uh, yeah, I, I, I say getting it on is much easier than some other bibs I've reviewed. So I've got it on, uh, no problem. I'm gonna do up the zipper on the side. And the one thing that I really like about this experience so far, besides that it's easy to get on, is that when I do it up, I, I'm doing up the zipper, and I'm going to talk about the zippers. Really good quality, awesome job there. Uh, but it's got this nice Velcro here, right? So let's say I've eaten a little bit more than I should have over the last few months or something, and it's not fitting quite right. No problem, I just let it off a little bit. But let's say I've been working out, and I'm starting to look good, right? I want to do it up a little more, more tighter, right? Boom, right? How cool is that? For the price of like a five cent Velcro thing, they've dramatically improved the ability to make this fit for different variables, right? So if you're gaining weight, losing weight, right? As we all do, as we all fluctuate, this will change with you. So like, how cool is that? I, I love it. Such a simple thing, but uh, it doesn't add a lot of weight. Uh, it's not something that gets in your way. It actually helps keep the zipper done up, I would think. Also, it, because it covers the zipper right here, it prevents you from actually touching the zipper when you move your arms. Not that I would necessarily do that a lot anyway, but I think it is kind of a, 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 a really good feature. I can't emphasize that enough. I'm, I really like that. Okay, now I've got the bib on. The first thing I wanna talk about is how does it feel when I've got the bib on? And it feels really good. It's not too tight in the upper body and a lot of other bibs you'll see that they are very tight up here. And I don't know why, it's like a very elasticy material, very thin, uh, usually not a lot of pockets, and but it's really tight and it, it's not comfortable. This is comfortable. I'm 5'9", 170 to 175 pounds, 
This is a medium, a regular size medium, and it fits me in the upper area here perfectly, right? So, you know, everybody's gonna be slightly different even with those that weight and that height in the upper body. But overall, I think this is gonna work out for most of you. It's got the adjustable strap here, and these straps are very nicely placed. I don't feel any discomfort at all on my back, on my front here, on my neck area. There's no, it's not riding on my neck at all. The strap length I, or the width of the strap is adequate for the weight of these uh, on your body. So I don't feel as though it's cutting in due to the weight at all. And I've loaded these up so they're about as heavy as they could be and still zero discomfort. So still doing great. So the overall fit on these on the lower part, and you'll see this in other reviews, is that they fit quite loose. So I'm a medium and they are they are a little baggy down here. And this is much different than the Arteryx Alpha, which I reviewed a few weeks ago. It, you know, those were almost like a uh, spandexy, very tight fitting, way, way too tight for me. These are the opposite end of the spectrum from that. So if anything, some of you may find that these are a little bit too baggy. I think for skiing, some people may say that. For snowboarding, I don't think you will. I think you'll appreciate that even more so and i see a lot of snowboarders wearing these but for me i like it i like the the amount of room i've got here the only thing that i would have done differently is i probably would have got a, a medium short normally i'm a medium regular in everything uh, i have about a 31 inch inseam and these are fine when i have my boots on although i would probably take off an inch with my boots on uh, as well but when I take off my boots and I go to my runners and I'm still wearing these, the cuff will drag on the floor. So if you are 5'9", if your legs are about the same as me with an inseam of about 31 inches, try on the medium short and see how that fits. Be careful, however, what you don't want is it to be too short in the body so when you do up the straps, the crotch rides high and crushes your you know, stuff. So you don't want to crush your stuff. That's what I was very careful about. That's why I went with the, the medium regular. Definitely not having any discomfort down there whatsoever, which is great. Okay, so fit overall, super comfortable. Lots of room for layers. So I've skied these uh, most of the last season. And so I skied this in very warm days. I was skiing basically as you see me now, t-shirt and just these. Actually, I had a layer on underneath these. Uh, so I did wear a thermal layer, super thin, almost like underwear underneath these, which was nice. But I have room to probably put on a couple layers and, and fairly thick layers if I want. And, and that's going to be fine, which is great. So it allows me to wear it throughout the whole season. It goes from extremely cold here to extremely warm. So that's a big bonus for me. All right, that's the fit. Let's talk about features. Now, I love the features on this bib. Pretty much all the features that I want and none of the features that I, I don't really want. So let's start off with pockets because that's a big one for me. Starting from the top. Now, this is more of a classic bib, which is exactly what I was looking for. However, it doesn't have the full frontal zip that goes all the way down, like, like an extended PP zip, basically, right? That goes all the way down in case you need to do a number one. However, it uh, it's not a big deal, I don't think. I don't, to be honest, I'm not sure I still want that. Originally I did, but when I look at these pockets, I kind of like that almost better. It's got the kangaroo pockets. So at the very top, I've got this pocket here. It's pretty roomy and inside is very nice material, right? Very feels very high quality. So I can put some stuff in there. Maybe it's gonna be my GPS. Maybe it's gonna be my probe or beacon rather for backcountry skiing, whatever you want. It's gonna keep it close to your chest. I'm careful what I put in here because I've had wipeouts before where I land very hard on my chest. And once I think I had my keys in there and I, I swear it, 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 might, it really hurt my ribs for months after that. So I put soft things in here like my candy bars, my ski pass. So it's got that big pocket there. Then it's got a little pocket here, which I've actually got a ski pass in right there, which I forgot about. Um, so that's a nice little spot for, for that. So if you're going up to the infrared uh, ski lifts, you just kind of bounce your chest off of it and, and you're in. And then one more pocket here, which, uh, oh, there's something in there. There's my uh, reservations for the gondola was in there. So that's great, right? All the things you need really quickly. And that's a fairly big pocket. You can see I've got my whole hand in there. It's not a pass-through pocket. So I know some of the bibs will have a zipper on this side. So it's a pass-through. 
I prefer this because I lose stuff a lot. So this would allow me not to lose things so easily. And that concludes the pocket tour on the front of the bib. There's also more pockets. There's a pocket on the back side. This allows you to put some stuff in there. I don't use that a whole lot, but you, know, you could. And that's a pretty nice pocket. Yeah, let's see, I'll do that up. It's all zippers. Very nice weather guard zippers. YKK zippers, high quality, much higher quality than some of the other bigger brands out there. I don't know why everybody's being so cheap on zippers, but you know, perfect. Like I, I couldn't ask for better zippers. I know it sounds like a weird thing to say, but zippers are important. Front pockets, you've got the classic two front pockets here on the side. Again, the material is very nice. They're not felt or anything like that. I wouldn't want that but they just feel extremely high quality when you put your hand in there. I don't know what the material is. You can go look up that on their website. I'm not gonna talk about materials or ratings of materials or anything like that because I find that's boring. You can go look it up uh, uh, very easily. I'm gonna talk about how it feels and how it fits and things like that. So one more pocket down below on my right hand side near the, just above the knee. That's typically where I keep my phone, and it's perfect size for an iPhone 10. It would probably fit a much bigger phone as well. I find it's the perfect kind of height to be able to reach down and grab stuff and without restricting your movement or anything like that. So really nice. Flylo has done a great job, I think, of designing this to be very functional. Again, that's the, the word I'm gonna keep coming back to is functional. I like the color. I went with just typical black. A lot of my stuff is black because I'm boring that way. It just does what I need it to do and nothing more, nothing less, which is what I want. So that's it for pockets. The other big feature on this bib, and this is what I was really looking for, was adequate venting. And the reason that's important to me is because I wanna use this on the resort, but I also wanna use this on backcountry skiing. And I know what you're thinking, Rob, what are you, crazy? This is a heavy bib, why would you do that? Well, it doesn't feel that heavy to me. I know it's the heaviest bib out there, which is hard to imagine, right? This is the heaviest bib that I've seen when you look at the stats. I looked at the Arcteryx Alpha, which is just over 500 grams, right? Felt heavier than that, but that's all it is. The Arcteryx Heli Guide bib, which is super, super thick and, and unbendable, basically, just like feels like cardboard and feels super heavy, is only just over 700 grams as well. This bib weighs in at a grand total of about 900 grams, which is weird because it doesn't feel that heavy. And when we're only talking about a few hundred grams here or there, you probably wouldn't notice that anyway, to be honest, when it's distributed across your whole body. However, this is a heavy bib. Taking it in the backcountry though, to me, doesn't seem that bad. I would rather cut weight at the end of my legs, say my boots and my skis, than necessarily here. Because when you do go out in the backcountry, you wanna be warm, but also be able to vent and, and be comfortable. So to me, and you're, when you're in the backcountry, you're also probably gonna be skiing in powder. So for me, a bib is even more important. However, let's get back to the features. Sorry, I went off in a bit of a tangent there to justify why I would use this for Alpine touring. But let's talk about the, the venting. So on this bib, you've got the venting on both sides. So I've got a, a venting on, on the outside of the leg as well as the inside of the leg and it works extremely well. I was wondering about the inside vent, how well that would work, whether it would actually catch on my legs as I moved my legs, and I didn't experience any of that. However, it kept me very cool. I skied in these for about a week in the hottest conditions that we get here. Total blue sky days, scorching sun, just incredibly hot, wearing just this t-shirt or something similar, and I opened up all the vents, I wore this bib, and I thought, I'm gonna overheat for sure, but I didn't. The only time I felt a little warm was at the end of the day, walking across the black concrete pavement towards my truck. And, and that was smoking hot there, and I was like, whoo, yeah, it's a bit warm, but everybody was baking in that area. So I think this is totally good for all conditions, including when it gets warmer, because you can open up those vents. And when you're doing alpine touring, your lower body is going to get really warm. And I think it's very important to be able to cool that down because it's the material is, I wouldn't say it's going to vent super easy. I don't think it's going to take that moisture out very quickly. And that's by design, right? I mean, you need to have that to some degree to make it better for very cold conditions, which this is. But being able to open it up like that 
that really accomplishes the mission of being able to get that hot air out of there quick. So the only thing I noticed when I did that, however, when I was skiing, and this is my fault, I forgot to do it up. So when I was skiing, some snow would go in there. When I was carving, the snow would come up and a little bit would go in there, and then my boots were wet at the end of the day. However, I should have just done it up before I went and did my downhill ski. So lessons learned there. But I would say the venting here is, is great, and that feature is perfect. You could probably live without the inside vents, but I like it. I like having that as an option. And on the hottest days of the year, I open it all up. So the materials on this bib, as I've said, feel great. And the only complaint that I've seen in some of the reviews was that they said that some of the material, because of the texture, the snow will stick to. I didn't experience that at all, and I'm not sure what material they were talking about exactly, because none of this is really textured. There is, on the knees, there's a bit of a knee pad area, so perhaps that's what they were talking about. But, you know, and maybe if you're wiping out a lot, then, or snowboarding and, and landing on your knees, maybe that's where that's going to occur. But, yeah, I didn't experience that at all. So. Maybe I wasn't wiping out enough, I, I don't know, but I, I didn't experience that. So if you did, and you can tell me more about that, please do so in the comments, let me know what's what's going on there. To me, this material is very smooth. I can't see any, any snow sticking to this ever. Okay, so we talked about breathability. Now let's talk about warmth. How warm are these? And that's really where the value of the bib comes in a lot. Not only when you wipe out, not getting snow up into your pants and stuff like that, but also the warmth that this allows you because you're going to, once you have it zipped all down, you close the vents in the wintertime, of course, you're gonna be able to contain a lot of that warm air closer to your body and keep yourself warm that much longer. So these work fantastic for that as well. The material is designed so that you can be standing around for long periods of time out in the cold and this is gonna help you much more than just a, a pair of ski pants. So highly recommended for that as well. Durability, the durability of these pants, I've only had them for uh, half a season so far, but so far they're holding up very well based on other people's reviews and my experience so far, I fully expect these to be very durable and last me for you know, as long as I take care of them. So who would buy this bib? There's a few different user groups that I could see having a lot of interest in this particular bib. The first one would be industry professionals. So if you're doing search and rescue, if you're a ski patrol, if you're working on the hill, then I think that this would be attractive to you. It's durable, it's functional, it's comfortable, it works. It's good value for your money. I think you know if you go to spring sales and stuff like that, you're gonna get even a better deal on last year's model. Try that out. But I think overall, perfect for those people. Any sort of rescue type, oriented people. Again, it's very durable, so I think it's going to be good for that. Any sort of ski guides, I think this is also going to help you as well. With the pockets, you can put your notepads in there, you can put your avalanche beacon in there, all that sort of stuff. I think this would be perfect for you as well. Also, I think anybody who spends more than a few days at the resort, I think this is going to work well for you. I think this also works very well for not just skiers, which is what I usually talk about, but also snowboarders. I think it's particularly well suited for snowboarders. So am I going to keep these bibs or send them back? That's the big question, right? Well, as you probably guessed, I'm going to keep these bibs. I like them a lot. I think they have a lot going for them. The value there is really good. They fit me properly. They don't restrict my movement. They are comfortable, they're very functional. Flylow did a great job on the Baker bib. It's a industry standard for a reason. There's a lot of great reviews out there besides mine for a reason. So I think that they really hit it out of the park here. I think they did a great job. I'm going to keep these. I think if I was to do it again, I might buy the short rather than the regular size just because it's a little bit longer and it drags on the ground when I when I change into my runners, but not a big deal. Sometimes I might roll them up if I'm gonna be in my runners and wearing these for an extended period of time, which is not very often. However, that's something I might change going forward, but definitely, definitely keeping these bibs and I really like them and I hope you do too. If you've got thoughts or comments on the bibs, please let me know in the comments below. Thank you very much. See you later.